it's another thing when we begin to see our own people creating further division for profit. Tynesha Renee here. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're visiting for the first time. This is Tynesha Talks where I like to speak my mind and I love when y'all speak back. Today I have my wine in honor of Wine Down Wednesday and y'all I have some stuff that I need to get off my chest. Today we are going to be discussing the toxicity of manosphere and femininity platforms. Child, I just know I'm gonna piss somebody off today. So for starters, just to make sure everyone is on the same page, I want to clarify what manosphere slash red pill platforms are. Red pill is a reference to the movie The Matrix. It's the ideology that you are choosing to free yourself and think outside of societal norms and agendas and seek the truth about the world that we live in. So this concept of red pill on the internet has been around for at least 10 years now. We begin to see a surge in online communities in which men are able to openly express their thoughts and their beliefs and kind of bond with other men based on shared experiences. And this is what we call the manosphere. Now in theory, this sounds like a good idea, right? We know that societal norms Norms and gender roles often stigmatize the expression of men. So in theory, it should be a good thing that men are able to be a bit more vulnerable and connect with other men because we want to see that vulnerability. But the reality is that a lot of these manosphere platforms are sounding boards for men to release their frustrations about women, which often leads to overgeneralizing and stereotyping women. So just think about some of the common things that we here. Women are 304s oh, and don't deserve to be protected. For those of y'all who are living underneath a rock, a 304 is the equivalent of a hoe. Okay, plug 304 into a calculator, flip it upside down, and you'll see what we mean. Men have it harder than women do. Men are not valued by women unless they are providing money. Black men don't have privilege in society. Women don't want nice guys. Men don't need women and are better off single, etc., etc., etc. I'm sure that you can see how online platforms with thousands of men spreading these opinions on women can cause feelings of disdain, resentment, or dare I say, subconscious hatred for women. But, 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 I'm gonna pause it there because this video is not only about the manosphere. Women, we've been doing some BS too. <sighs> Let's talk about these femininity platforms. It has become increasingly popular at an alarming rate for content creators to provide guidance on how women can tap into their feminine side. Now I can only speak for myself, but I mostly see this content geared toward black women. Logically, this makes sense when we consider the fact that black women have had to step up and take more of a dominant or masculine role to make up for the removal of black men in the household due to mass incarceration, government incentives for single mother households, and of course, the stereotypical ancient accent black father. Woo, that girl that said a mouthful. This may be an unpopular opinion, but there are a lot of femininity coaches out there who are pygmies disguised as poised women who want to help black women find self-love and figure out how to attract men. My definition of a pick me is a woman who puts down other women for the approval of men. What do you mean by that, Tynesha? I have observed with my own eyes these femininity platforms that convey messages on how women can be better women in a way that women are not going to be receptive to. A lot of the messaging is demeaning women versus coaching them on how to be better without judgment. As a black woman, I'm likely going to get defensive when this type of language is used. And as a result, I'm probably not going to watch your content. But you know who will? All of the frustrated men of the manosphere. It's one thing to watch a platform where a man is speaking on all of the things that you've had bottled in. But a woman speaking on behalf of all the things that you've been wanting to say? Oh baby. That is a gold mine. This goes back to me saying that the message 
it's not messaging, okay? The message does not match the audience. You can't be a femininity coach or a femininity platform if your audience is nothing but men, period. But again, these women see that they get a response from these frustrated men and they begin to adjust their content to profit off of pandering. While Manosphere slash Red Pill and femininity platforms seem to be on opposite ends of the spectrum, many of them do the same thing. Play on the emotions of their audience by telling them what they want to hear for financial and social gain, AKA, pandering. What do you mean by that, Tynesha? Let me go ahead and break it down for y'all. There are a lot of platforms, often podcasts, which claim to have the objective of teaching men how to be better men and to make better decisions when it comes to dating. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but you think that this would entail accountability, therapy, reflection on past decisions, learning how to treat women properly, but instead, what I've been seeing is a lot of finger pointing at women, a lot of derogatory comments toward women, a lot of deflection. So please tell me, how is it that we can say that a platform is intended to make men better men if the messages being sent in such content promotes the opposite. Real men who truly embody their masculine energy are providers. They're logical so they can properly control, not suppress, but control emotional responses. And they protect women. So as a content creator, an entrepreneur, a coach, whatever your title is, when your desired message is not being received properly or it's not reaching your target audience, you would typically adjust your messaging. That's marketing strategy 101. But here's the thing, okay? Let me go ahead and up. Let me grab my wine for this one because we gonna need a child. <laughs> A lot of these platforms truly do not care about improving relationship dynamics between men and women. What they care about is seeing their subscribers and their Google AdSense account go up. Google AdSense is how YouTubers get paid. Even if they may have started with the intent to truly help men improve, that desire to spark change often gets overshadowed by the desire to gain popularity on social media. And that's when we start to see platforms with unbalanced discussion, i.e. content that is mostly geared toward pointing out the shortcomings in women versus promoting interactive and progressive discussion. So yeah, those are my thoughts when it comes to the toxic nature of Manosphere and femininity platforms. But before y'all go, okay, I just wanna say this. I have gotten pushback from both men and women about my content. I don't consider myself a red pill platform and I definitely don't consider myself a feminist. By the way, my opinion is that feminism was never intended for black women, but that's a conversation for another video. At the end of the day, my platform is and always will be geared toward creating a safe space for men and women to openly express themselves. My goal is for men and women, black men and women especially, to come to an understanding, even if we may not always agree with one another. The sad reality is that there is a major gender war going on right now. It's one thing to acknowledge the way powerful forces have systematically created division between black men and women. It's another thing when we begin to see our own people creating further division for profit. I'm sorry, but I can never be a sellout and do that. And if I piss some people off or my platform takes longer to grow because of it, then so be it. Real ones are gonna riot regardless. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off this. If you like what you saw today, please like, comment, and share to spread the word about my channel because you know we always a vibe over here on Tiny Should Talks. And if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, ciao! Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, hit that red notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of my dope ass conversations. All right, y'all, as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and until next time, y'all, bye!